to install and use the uh, Monero to Bitcoin Atomic Swap Provider. So the first thing that you do is you hit install. Do your downloads and double click. Windows is going to give you a warning and you just go to more info, run anyway. Once it installs, you'll, oops, it'll pop right up just like that. So then once you have your amount you want, you hit swap, and then you put in your Monero address right here and your Bitcoin address right here. You can't right click into this, but you can copy and control V into here. So you need to have a, uh, a BAC32 address. So it's a specific type of uh, Bitcoin address and it begins with this BC1. Um, so uh, the best way, the easiest way to generate a, a BAC32 address is you just go to, uh, you can BAC32 address generator, go to the first one. Click this X because it's taking up the main thing. And then you want to generate a new seg. You press that button, generate new segwit address. And it starts doing this. And so what it's doing right here is you're generating randomness. You're basically just creating a random number. Um, so da -da -da -da. And then as soon as the bar gets here, it'll generate an address that I'm going to copy and paste into uh, the unstoppable swap. Also shows the private key, so I will not be showing that, but uh, then you just, you're ready to swap and you get your quote and that'll tell you the price that you're going to get it at. Uh, and then, so then once you click that button, you should get ready to send your Bitcoin. So... It shows up pretty quickly, uh, and that's the address that you need to send it to. So I, I'm just going to use uh, this iPhone app to send a, a little bit of Bitcoin. Uh, they give you a barcode, you can scan it. Make sure you send more than the minimum amount. Just said confirmed, and my app has said transaction broadcasted. So what you should see is that it sees the transaction pretty quickly, but then it needs to confirm it. All right, so now it's waiting for it to confirm. And essentially, it's supposed to take 20 minutes, but from my experience, it takes a lot longer. So this view on Explorer will tell you how long it's kind of supposed to take. Uh, so it says 17 minutes, um, but we'll see about that. So what we've got here is it finishes up and then uh, gets confirmed and then they lock the XMR. And so this takes, uh, this actually takes about 20 minutes, uh, maybe less. But uh, yeah, so then once it gets to 10, which basically what happens is uh, you don't really have to do anything from here. Um, I'm trying to wait for it to go, but uh, yeah, then, it, then you just wait another two minutes for this thing to be done. And then it should send to your, should be able to check your wallet and it'll be there. Um, but yeah, so uh, yeah, it took about an hour uh, to do that to uh, get that confirmed. I've had it be four hours before. Wait. Point is about two minutes from my experience. So that was even faster than two minutes. Um, and now if I look at 
uh, my cake wallet, it should uh, should show a pending transaction. And let's see. Oop. Yep, indeed it does. All right. So yeah, it's uh, 0.1506. Um, so yeah, that's that's how you do a Monero Atomic Swap. Thanks for watching. If you got here, uh, subscribe to my channel and like the video. Share it to anyone else interested in Monero. So thank you for watching. Enjoy being private and safe with your money.